What's up? It's a boy back at it again with another video in the series we like to call Underrated Throwers. So today we got Anthony Washington. He's, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure he's the last American to ever go over 70 meters. Uh, he's the 1999 world champ, uh, beating Lars Riedel and Jurgen Schultz. So that in itself is crazy. Not to mention he threw 60, he had to throw 69 meters because both of them were over 68 meters in this comp. So, and he broke uh, Lars Riedel's winning streak. And Lars Riedel had to wait until 2001, uh, the next Worlds, to get his fifth uh, title. So, yeah, and he, uh, Anthony Washington has done 71.14, I think. I'll put everything, his PRs, um, his height and weight, and, um, his, uh, notable accomplishments in the video description, but the main, the main reason I want to, um, make a video about him why I think he's underrated is I think he's probably one of the shortest people ever to throw 71 meters I'm pretty sure he's around like 6'1 and also very famously he's also the dad of Turner Washington who's a multiple NCAA champion um just made the world's team this this world's um the indoor the NCAA indoor shot put record holder you know, just a really good thrower. I think uh, also a 66, 67 meter discus thrower as well. You know, obviously he came from a great family with great genes. But this is his dad. And his dad to me is a little more impressive. Sorry, sorry Turner. I've met, met you in person. Big fan. But, you know, I'd love to meet your dad. Because your dad's crazy. So, I want to show you a side view. Because I want you guys... To see how short guys I feel should throw the discus. So we're going to watch this a couple times. And notice right away he uses maybe a little more than half of the circle. Oops. Uh, a little more than like half the circle. We'll watch it again. Yeah, like he does not get very far. And a lot of people would criticize that. I would argue that's the reason why he throws 71 meters. And this is actually the throw he throws 71 meters on. So it's not a mistake. This is his PR throw. So let's get here. Really sinks over the left. Really nice shin angle. And a really low uh, left heel out the back. And I really like that because when you have a low left heel out the back when you're turning, it really stops you from over rotating and really uh, makes that shin angle a little easier to get out the back, that left shin angle. Uh, but the important thing is when you do a low left heel, it doesn't, it shouldn't be too low and you don't want it to collapse behind you. You want it to still be strong and stiff. So you don't want it too low, but you also don't want it too high. Because when it's too high, you're just going to spin around in a circle and really over-rotate. Alright? So he does a really good job of that. And I really want to focus more on the middle of the ring for him. Because there are some misconceptions, I think. Because when people are like, oh, you need to get all the way across the ring and stuff. That's true. If you're like, six four plus you know and you can use all that ring effectively but when you're on the shorter side for throwers it's honestly in my opinion a lot better especially if you're a powerhouse to not sprint as far because right now he's throwing basically inside a shot circle i would argue that's honestly better now I might be in the minority here, but I mean, this he threw 71 meters doing this, so call me wrong, I guess, but because the thing is, when you're shorter, and if you sprint all the way to the front of the ring, 
that's just wasted time you have in the air, wasted time you have not a, actually throwing the disc. With him, he wastes no energy at all. He just does a short, quick turn out the back, gets into the middle, gets his left foot down, and just hucks the, the living hell out of it. And that's what you got to do. The shorter you are in discus, I feel the more speed oriented you got to be. Because you got to make up for not having that much height. See, taller people can be a little slower when it comes to it. And again, when I say a short discus thrower, I mean like 6'1 and below is what I consider a short discus thrower. And I'm pretty sure Anthony Washington is around 6'1. Six six He's very short. All right, so that's the main thing, is efficiency. Now, he still gets so much air time. Like, when his right foot lands, his left foot, let's see, let's see, right foot touches there. His left foot is past. You'll see a lot of elite throwers now that cannot do this. And I think that's because they sprint all the way to the front. And then he gets so much out. Now, one could also argue that he would maybe get a little more of a meter because he's leaving all of this open. But I would argue that would be a slower, less efficient throw. I would argue if he did that, he would float in the air. He would float in the air. And his left would be super late. Like, by the t if his right foot got down, like, here, his left foot would probably still be, like, around here, maybe. It wouldn't be nearly as fast, and it wouldn't be as efficient, and I don't think he would throw nearly as far as when he what he did. So, that's my big thing um, about Anthony Washington. Not to mention, he's just, I consider, probably, mm, the th third maybe fourth best american discus thrower ever i gotta give it up to mac wilkins and john powell you know they did they, they at least mac wilkins is an olympic champion and you know john powell is john powell so i gotta give it up to them but in my opinion anthony washington's more impressive than them in my opinion at least but, you know um but and again there are things I don't like. I, I, his finish, I think he gets a little too up off the air too soon. I think he could stay grounded more. But that was just the style back then. Especially in America. John Godina did this a lot too. Very Venegas-like. And honestly, Anthony Washington throws a lot like a shot putter in this. There's a lot of similarities. Um, there's a, Yeah, there's a bunch of similarities in this, so... Uh, between him and John Godina. Although Turner Washington does... Well, mm, he does turn a little bit more. See, I would like him to still be grounded here. And then release. But, I mean... I guess I, I can't argue with someone who throws 71 meters. But, I mean... If you're a powerhouse and you're on the shorter side... And coaches tell you... Oh, yeah, you can't throw far and stuff if you're, like, 5'10 and stuff. Like, tell him to shut the hell up because you can throw far, and Anthony Washington is proof, all right? Just like Zane Weir's proof that you can throw 22-44 not being that strong as a shot putter because I weigh, I honestly weigh more than Zane Weir. I think I got, like, 10 pounds on him. And he throws, I don't even want to count how many more meters than me. All right. Obviously, he's a lot better athlete and stronger than me. But just because you're short and just because you may not have the best strength doubles and stuff, the most important thing in throwing is to move efficiently for what you do. All right. And you need to find your own style. All right. Now, I'm not saying... You know, if you have a coach that wants you to sprint all the way across the ring, I'm not saying, you know, just screw him and listen to me. These are just my opinions, all right? And this is really a video for us shorter people that aren't blessed with being 6'4 plus, all right? 
you know, screw you guys, being all tall and making life easier for you throwing, you know, screw all y'all. But, um, a short, a short people, and honestly, a woman as well can also learn a little bit from this too, because women tend to be a, around this tall for elite women, uh, around like six foot, like five, ten to six foot one for most elite women. So that you'll notice some of them don't don't sprint all the way across the ring either. They actually do a lot of what Anthony Washington does, you know. And yeah, that's really it, honestly. I think he does an amazing sprint. I would say I kind of would like his sweep to be a little wider, but I mean, it's not bad. I mean, um, there are people who have thrown far with those kind of sweeps. I think I've covered that in a different video about the whole sweep thing, so I'm not going to get too into it. I forget which video. I guess you're just going to have to watch all of them to find it. Oh, no. Man, that was cringy. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to leave that in just to show you how cringy I am. But, yeah. I hope you guys learned something. And hope you guys... Um, I hope this brings hope to short people. For throwers, I should say short people. Because, like, five... I think five nines like the national average for men. So, but... You know, I'm five ten and a, and a half, so... Oh, well. But maybe there's hope for me. I don't know. Anyway, see y'all later.